Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your Mac. So let's get started on the top left hand side of our screen. We're going to see that Apple logo. Click on it. Then your second option, software update, will be under your system settings. So the second option. And then from here, we should see something like so. Your first option should say software update. However, let's say you don't. There's a few ways to get into here. So go down into general. Then your second option will say software update. That's one way. Another way would be on the top, just type in update. And that should take you here, same thing. So those are three ways to get to this update. Now, if you don't see it for any type of reason, so let's say this is not popping up for you, you just turn off and on automatic updates, that should refresh things for you. Anyways, we can always click on view more information if you guys would like to know a little bit more about this, just under two gigs, we can just press on update now and then just let our Mac up to do its thing right after we type in our password. And here we go. So it's just going to update. Then um, once it's done downloading, it's going to restart. And that's it. You can just leave your Mac to be your, you will see an Apple logo in the loading bar later on. But anyways, for now, just let it be just make sure it doesn't turn off. Make sure to have it charging if it's a MacBook, for example, or if it's an iMac or Mac mini, then just make sure not to unhook it and don't have anything going on during this process. So don't be working on any projects. I do recommend you using Time Machine to make backups, usually before any updates. However, this is such a small update that I don't really care that much if you guys do it or not. Just to make sure that everything does go okay, just make sure you also have enough space on your Mac. So at least 30 gigs of free space, so that way nothing bad happens when it's trying to install the update and you're not going to get stuck. But if you ever do get stuck, if I do have a video that teaches you how to fix that error. But anyways, that would be it right now. We just have to wait. So if you left your Mac to be, it would have restarted by itself. However, if you are looking at it, you can just press on restart right now or restart later on. It's your choice. So right now we can just press on restart now. So after a few minutes, your Mac should have restarted. You would have seen Apple logo loading bar. And then finally, you guys can go and double check that everything went okay. Going to right here, updates, and you would be done. That would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.